everyone. I wonder, when you've been outside, have you ever noticed some little red beetles with black spots on them? They're called ladybirds and everyone seems to love ladybirds and they're very good for the garden. Now I've got a model of a ladybird here. Can you see it's got a bright red body? It's got black spots and how many legs? One, two, three, four, five, six legs and a head with some antennae coming off them. Where are they? There they are. If you would like to make one of these, you will need some red paint and a bowl and some black paper. Have fun. Bye. To make a ladybird, you will need a paper bowl, some black paper, scissors and pencil, red paint. If you really don't want to use red paint, then you could use lots of red paper which you could collage over the bowl. You will need glue, liquid glue in this case. Uh, paint pots and paint brushes and a little bit of water, something to cover your table or surface and perhaps something for wiping hands like wet wipes. Okay your preparation is very little this time. You need your black paper and you're going to cut out some little round-ish spots. These are approximately three centimetres in diameter. You will also need to cut some legs. These are one centimetre across and about four centimetres long. You will need at least six of those. I say at least because you will need six for the ladybird and it's always useful to have a few extra just in case. And then there's the ladybird head which is the most difficult of all the shapes and even that's simple. You've got a large almost circle with just the bottom cut off. It's about seven centimetres in diameter and two little antennae sticking up. That's it. Oh, I forgot. You'll also need some small round shapes like sticky labels for eyes. These are, as I say, round sticky labels with black felt pen to make the eyes. And that's all your preparation. Now then we get going on the messy bit. Just leave things tidy. Now two ways. You could paint it red, leave it to dry and then the next day glue your shapes on. If you haven't got PVA glue that is what you will need to do. However, I'm going to do the directly, let's glue it straight on version. So, red glue we're making, so I want some glue, a reasonable amount today. I've got just about covering the base of that. And a little bit of red. You need a reasonable amount to get a deep red colour. See in a moment if that's right. And then a little bit of water to thin it down. Right, mix it up. And that's how it's looking like, and I can see I haven't got enough. So do a load more. There we go. A bit more red paint, otherwise it'll be too pinky. And a touch more water. Mix it up. probably got too much now but there we go you can see it's a nice red color it flows quite well and that will work really nicely so all that you're going to need to do or your child is going to do next is paint your paper bowl red all over Lots and lots of red, nice and mess. I, you might well prefer to do this outside. 
Uh, the mess is less of a problem. Another advantage of using the glue in here is that if it does get on things, once it dries, it just peels off. So when they're gluing, they do need to get down into these bits here. So you might need the help, because if you go over, you can see it leaves it. So you've just got to get in there a bit. Uh, and that's, that's all. All the way around, cover it with glue, with in this case red paint. There we go. There we are, nearly there. Oh, last bit. Then we've got a nice red glue ladybird. So, very simple now. You just attach all the bits you need. So, I'm going to put the head on there. On the front, there we go. I'm going to put six legs, three each side. So one, two, three, and three on the other side. One, two, and three. Press it down, add some spots, and put one there, two, three, four, five, and one more, because I like the look of it. There we go. Almost finished. If you want to curve, it might not always stick first time. And then two eyes just to make it look friendly Ooh, I seem to have lost a bit of oh, so there we go then at this point I strongly suggest that you pick it up because it will stick to the paper otherwise there we go a little bit come off there there we go. And you just need to leave it to dry. And there is your paper bowl ladybird. Do make sure you wipe your children's fingers before they go anywhere else. Hi there. I hope you enjoy making your ladybirds. I've made two one using red glue, which is this one, and one using red paint and then letting it dry before adding the spots. What do you think? Do you think they're going to be friends? Enjoy making these and I will have a love... I, I am looking forward to seeing you all very soon. Bye!